I just came across this problem show that pi is less than 22 over 7. So actually, if we divide 22 by 7, it's already 3.1 something. It's already very close to pi. And so the solution I found on the internet is that somehow we construct an integral out of nowhere, since I don't know the motivation exact. So integral from 0 to 1 of over 1 plus x squared x to the power of 4 times 1 minus x quantity to the power of 4 dx. So like I said, so even without motivation of first, let's dive into the calculation of this integral. First of all, I want to turn this into a polynomial, a proper polynomial, polynomial divided by this long division. So first of all, I say 1 minus x to the fourth is equal to 1 minus x to the power of 2, then square, perfect square, 1 minus 2x plus x square, square. Okay, then we combine 1 minus 2x, group them together. Again, we use perfect square. <clears throat> so that's this square plus twice of x squared times 1 minus 2x plus x to the fourth. And so that's going to give us 1 minus 4x plus 4x squared plus 2x squared minus 4x cubed plus x to the fourth. And that's x to the fourth minus four x cubed and plus six x squared minus four x plus one. So therefore, I can multiply by that x to the fourth. So I just multiply x to the fourth on so each of the term. So x to the eighth minus 4 times x to the 7th plus 6 x to the power 6 minus 4 times x to the power 5 plus last term. And so now we can do long division. So divided by 1 plus x squared. So like I said, x to the 4x seven plus 6 x to the 6 minus 4 x to the 5 plus x to the fourth <coughs> divided by x squared plus 1. Okay, so I come up with x to the 6, so that multiply by that x to the 8th plus x to the 6. So this subtracted from there. So x8 is gone. So this stays negative 4, x7, and this minus that. So plus 5, x to 6, minus 4, x to 5, plus x to 4. Now, here I come up with a negative 4 times x to 5th. Okay, that's going to negative 4 x to 7th minus 4 times x to 5. Okay, so this minus that. So this stays 5x to 6. This minus that. Cancel out. Still, still have this. Okay. So I must plus. 5 times x to the 4th. So 5 times x to the 6th plus 5 times x to the 4th. Okay, so this minus that, so this is gone. So negative 4 times x to the 4th. 
I must come up with a negative 4 times x to 2. So negative 4 x to 4 and minus 4 times x squared. And so it is subtracted from there. So minus minus plus 4 x squared. And I must come up with plus 4. Okay. So 4 times x squared. Plus 4. Just minus that. So I have the remainder is negative 4. Okay. So this is the divisor dividend and this quotient. Okay, so if, I'm, if my calculation is correct, I can somehow turn this improper rational function into a polynomial plus a proper rational function. So that's going to give me integral from 0 to 1. First of all, polynomial minus 4 x to 5th plus 5 x to fourth minus four x squared plus four. Okay, that's the polynomial. Then I'm gonna say negative four. Okay, minus four over my divisor, one plus x squared, right? Polynomial plus a proper rational function. So do the integration. Okay, the rest is just standard in integral. Okay, antiderivative x to the seventh over seven minus over six four times x to the sixth plus five under five times x to the fifth minus three four times x cubed plus 4x, okay, finally minus 4 times arctangent of x evaluated from 0 to 1, okay, that's going to give me 1 over 7 minus uh, 2 over 3 plus 1 minus 4 over 3 plus 4 and finally arctangent of 1 is just a quarter pi multiplied by 4 so minus pi and 0 goes in here here here, here. all zeros all zeros right so finally finally 1 over 7, 1 plus 4, plus 5. And this and that group together, minus 6 over 3, right? That's just, uh, that's just minus 2, plus 5, minus 2. Just, that's just plus 3. Right? So, 1, okay, so... That's going to give me 3 times 7, 22, 22 over 7. Right. And minus pi, of course. Of course. And to prove pi is less than 22 over 7, obviously the integrand is obviously positive, except on the edges where it's equal to 0. But within Inside the open interval, right, excluding the edges, integrand is obviously strictly positive, right? no matter what. So the edges uh, will not impact. So overall, the integral is obviously strictly positive. Right? So 
really pi is less than 22 over 7. But something I still cannot get over is that what's the motivation? Like it feels too much manufacture, like obviously pre-designed. Like this came out of nowhere. So like I said, can I come up with a more easy to come up with natural thought compared with that obviously pre-designed, like quite intricate, like something I could have never come up by my own. So again, I'm using integral, motivated by that integral. Naturally, we want to approximate the integral using rectangles. For example, like I said, I already have 1 over x squared, 1 over, so already motivated by that. So that's just arc tangent x from 0 to 1. Arc tangent 1, like I said, pi over 4 minus 0. Right. All we have to show is that pi over 4, is it less than can we show is less than 22 over 4 times 7? 22 over 28, that is 11 over 14. Like I said, we can just naturally approximate the area under the curve in which this integral, a graph, I guess the graph I'm looking at uh, 0 to 1. Okay, 0 to 1. So when x is equal to 1, integrand is equal to half. Okay, half. Obviously, decreasing function. Decreasing all the way. I'm tending to, but I'm only looking at the area under the curve from in this section. Right. So how can I approximate that to show that the area under the curve is less than this? Okay, like I said, using rectangles, it's only natural. So if we divide it into four parts, uh, four sub-intervals or uh, k sub-intervals, so this rectangle is right, a little bit bigger than the area under this curve. Right? And I use this rectangle, and I use this rectangle, and I use this rectangle. Obviously, the sum of the small rectangles the area is a little bit bigger than the area under this curve. Right? So obviously, the more dense we divide, partition this interval, the more likely we're going to approximate the area more precisely, more closely. Right? So like I said, I've tried using calculator, Wolfram Alpha, or something else. I divide it into, for example, 1,000 parts, sub-intervals, equally. Then I get the sum of the, the rectangles, the area of the rectangles, is just the width of each small rectangle, the base, that is 1 over 1,000, common factor multiplied by the sum of the height of each triangle, each rectangle, this height, this height, this height, this height. So namely, k goes from 999 to 0 to 99 of f of evaluated at the point of, of this point, this point, this point, this point, and so on. So the left, left hand side edge of each rectangle. K over 1,000 to the power of 2. Right, that's the value of uh, this point, this point, this point, this point, and so on. Right, inserted into where X was. Right, turns out to be 
zero point seven eight five six five as I round it up. So I also use calculator to calculate the approximate value of that is this five seven one. <clears throat> so obviously okay, this is a little bit smaller than that. Right? And like I said, the area under the curve. Right? Smaller than that. That is smaller than this. So really, so by partitioning dense enough, I can also estimate as well. But I still think this method is, is better, a lot better. Because I realized that in order to approximate to a satisfactory level, you're going to have to divide it dense enough, right? 1,000 parts, sometimes even 10,000 parts. And then from a calculation point of view, that is not ideal. But this approximation is a lot better than that. Right? Here I, I only have to the power of uh, 4 times plus 4 to the power of 8th. 8th degree already gives me a good 